Hi Stampers, this is Nancy Novak from StampAndShout.com and today I thought we would make a Valentine easel card. You can see it's an easel card. I love easel cards because you can just leave them out as a piece of home decor on your shelf or on your uh, end table. And I thought this one was really pretty and I am using the Stampin' Up! Bloom and Love stamp set and Stampin' Up! Bloomin' Heart Thinlet Dies. And it's quite involved. It's easy, but there's a lot of steps to it. So hopefully I can get through this video all in one take. We'll see how that goes. And here we go. So the first thing I did was I took the die cut and I put it on the precision plate because it's really a good cutter for delicate, intricate dies. And the Bloomin' Heart comes with three dies. And we're going to use the big one first. Also, I wanted to show you when I get my dies, I put a piece of a magnet in there so the dies stick to it easily and I don't lose them. So, first thing I did was I took a piece of the cardstock, and this cardstock is actually the mat, the red mat that's right here, and behind there is a hole where I cut my heart, so I'm kind of using the paper rather than using a scrap piece of paper, and this one works just perfectly. So you put your sandwich plate, uh, you have your, um, your base plate down there below, your multi-purpose platform, your precision plate, your paper, your die cut, and then you sandwich it with the board, and you throw it through the big shot. Excuse my arm. I'm going to roll it through twice, maybe three times, and one for good measure. There we go. And Stampin' Up! also has this new product, the brush, which you roll it on like this, and it just helps all the little pieces come out a lot easier. Really works well. So take this part like this. We're going to use this piece. I think I'll keep this here. Peel this off and see there's just there's not that many little pieces left that we have to punch out. And it makes such a pretty heart. I just love this heart. <laughs> I've made a lot of Valentine cards this season with this die cut. So that's that part. And I made if you look at the card, there's also a, a white heart, which I made earlier. So what I did, I could have just laid it behind, but I want, I flipped it. So it's kind of, I can see a little bit more of the red behind the white heart. And I took Stampin' Up's fine tip glue pen. And I just dabbed it on here and there, wherever there's a little petal to, to catch it. I think I'll put it on the white side. And you just need to squeeze this just a little bit. And I kind of dabbed it on all the edges. And laid it on top of the red heart. Kind of hold it down for a second. You let that glue set. Doesn't take long. And there's the heart. I also added red hearts, which came with the die. Those were the little tiny pieces right there. And to save time, I already glued three of them on. And I'll show you. I just dabbed the back again with the little fine tip glue. Now there's an exact way you can lay these flowers down, and I think I just found it very easily. That was fun. And then I'll lay one more little one down right over here. And I'll set that aside for now. 
and we'll put together our card. So the card is an eight and a half by five and a half piece of what Whisper White. I scored it at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. I folded it in half like normal and then I flipped it back. And then I have another piece of Whisper White that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is gonna be the finish part of the base. So what I did was I just snailed right here. And then you lay this piece on and it finishes off your card front. Like that. Then I took my red piece. The red is cut to four inches by five and a quarter, and my white piece is three and three quarter inches by five inches. I ran this through an embossing folder. This one's called Perfect Polka Dots. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, but Elegant Dots or Stylish Stripes would also work well. And I just snail the back of that and laid it on the red. And see how it covers up that hole perfectly so you don't have to waste anything. Then I took my dimensions and I dimensioned, I put a few dimensions on the back of this heart and popped it up. Oops. Just put them on the big flowers. I'm using the last of my dimensions on this pad, I can see. So we'll put this on the flower. Our card is going to be horizontal. Center that right there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, going back to our card. This goes on, so here's our card. We're going to put this on the front. See, now it's easy. Just center that like so. Then on the inside, I have my piece of red and my white, and I stamped my Valentine. And again, that's a stamp from the Bloom and Love stamp set. We're going to snail that on the inside. Oops. Like so. And then to finish it off for the easel part, I have a strip of red cardstock, and the red is one and a quarter by five inches. And then a designer series paper, for, for, just for decor, and that's one and one eighth by five inches. And I put uh, dimensions on the back of that. This is what is going to help your easel card pop up. And you just lay that right there. So now my easel card will stand up. And then I stamped. Also, again, from Bloom and Love, I stamped this piece, and I stamped it's in the air right in the center of it, and I cut it out, put it on dimensionals, and put it right there in the center, and the card's done. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I just love it. Oh, one more thing. Forgot, forgot. The pearls. Don't want to forget the pearls. That added little extra. Oops. So we just added a pearl in the center of each flower. Oops. The center. Okay, now it's done. Isn't that pretty? See how it just sits up there like that? I love it. So if you like this card, 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And subscribing only means that whenever I post, you will automatically be sent an email to let you know there's a new video out there for you to watch. Subscribing doesn't cost anything, and it'll help me find out what my uh, viewers really, really like. So again, you can find me at stampandshout.com. I post daily for new ideas, and I hope you come visit me. Thank you.